Jesus. <laughs> Can you play a wagon wheel? On this episode, I'm joined by singer-songwriter Corey Jellison. We're going to talk a bit about life's changes, the inspirations for his upcoming EP, and a bit about the trail he traveled to get where he's currently at. So sit back, sip your poison, and enjoy the ride. I'm Kalen Capson, and this is the Pagan Place Podcast. music inspires you to do so much more through your life i think with music for me it's helped me through a lot of pain a lot of heartache a lot of happiness so i mean music to me is more like a therapy it's why i love what i love to do i play my guitar i try to come up with these ideas and yeah i just want to tell my story yeah, it's kind of the same for me. It's a little cathartic. It's your best friend when you're down or Pretty even when much, you're yeah. kind of up too, actually, sometimes. How long have you been playing for? I've been playing for about eight years. However, I've got into the music scene back in 2015. Started out solo. Did Summer in the Square in the park where the band stands at here in St. John, New Brunswick. So I basically started my music career from there. Oh, actually, if I can go back a little bit, I used to put videos up on Facebook. One of my inspirations is uh, City in Color. So I put up a couple of videos up there. And one of my childhood buddies was just like, listen, I know this guy I went to university with. His name's Wayne Hansen. I'll get in touch with him and I'll see if he can add you on Facebook. So anyway, Wayne adds me on the Facebook. So I asked him questions like, how do I get myself out there? How can I expose myself? Say, well, you just knock on doors and sometimes you'll get doors closed on you. But tell you what, I'm playing at the St. John Ale House. Why don't you open up for me for a 20 minute set? So I basically went to the show, opened up for him, ended up getting compliments from people. It's kind of like a high feeling, like you have people clapping for you, people like, oh, good job. And Wayne was like, okay, you take that and you go and use that as your resume build up from the ground and you go from there and then one thing led to another i went to taco pica santos was kind enough to let me have my own showcase and i just kind of took it from there once i started building up my resume then i started playing with other people i did the duo thing for about a year traveled all around new brunswick did a campabello fog fest then we were like okay why don't we try to do the band thing and the band thing was very complicated that actually only lasted about two months because nobody was on the same page nobody knew like what we wanted to sound like so i was getting really agitated at this point and i was like okay why don't we just scratch that we'll try to do the duo and then i was just like you know what i had enough i said i'm i'm gonna go back to where i started and put my mind to it and take my time doing it because i am a father i have a six-year-old boy so sometimes life does get busy so you have to stop and be there for your kids and at the same time have time for yourself so anyway i started writing again songs for this upcoming ep that i'm putting out i was online and i was on facebook and there's this thing about hullabaloo so it's festival in perth and over new brunswick so i was up against like maybe eight or nine different people all around new brunswick or the east coast or wherever and i won surprisingly so they all they had to do was like your photo and you get get up on the main stage technically speaking i would say that me and this other gentleman from Fredericton, Colin Fowley, we were head to head basically when the time was up for the contest to be over. The sponsors were like, you're blowing up our Facebook page, like why don't we just have both of you guys come? I took the trip up, did the festival, we played at an Elk Lodge, and then the next day we actually played uh, alongside Tomato Tomato. So I got to talk with them and Uh, the girl from that duo she complimented on my stuff so it's just nice to hear so I mean guess I'm getting at is I just kind of build that from there and said you know what I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this my way nobody else and I'm gonna accomplish this and that's what this EP is all about it's me accomplishing my goals 
dealing with heartache, dealing with death, dealing with nostalgic moments. Basically, it's me. So, yeah. Did you set out to write songs for the EP, or did you just have some songs? I had some songs. You song- wanted to tighten up and be like, all right, let's do this. Yeah. I had songs that I wanted to tighten up. Like, I just, to me, songs take time. You can't rush anything, otherwise, you're going to run out of the best ideas. The best ideas are the moments that you have, whether it's the quietness or if you're whatever you're doing or even if you're doing the dishes or if i pick up the guitar and i start to play something uh it's been about almost a year and a half close enough since i've been trying to get this album together now i'm actually at the point now in my life that i'm so close it should be actually done by the end of this month the only song that i went in the studio with was the current wave song okay it was a personal song it was really hard and like and it took me a while to get back into it because life got busy uh, and you want to get back in there but there's a lot of other important things so now my life has actually kind of changed quite a bit because I am technically on my own and this is an opportunity for me to do things for myself. Somehow I got myself lost but I keep on thinking Where did everyone go? Cause I've gone too far But in that I will survive But it's not over now Till the sun comes up And I'll be standing here Hey Giving up Cause I fought this before These little bitter hells Will not get a hold of me And if I spill my blood And leave the fire burning Will you remember me Where I'll be standing did you decide an EP is the way to go? Like I said, I wanted to get my story out there. I mean, it's not even about the money, too, because, I mean, money gets invested in doing this type of thing. Whether you're paying, like, 25 to $40 an hour just 
but that doesn't matter. I feel like this was a goal for me because I just want to say that I did this. I can pass this along from generations from now and give the CD to my son and be like, your dad did something. I just love what I do and I'll still keep continuing to doing it. And no one's going to tell me otherwise. I'm just going to tell them, watch me. There you go. And that's the thing. It's just to have fun with it. And that's what it's all about. You're being yourself. You're not being condescending. You're not being stuck up. I'm going to continue what I love to do. That's a right reason to do it. Some people do it, just push into it. Or, you know, they get told so many times, oh, you should do this, you should do this, you should do this. And even if they don't feel ready, they might go ahead and... Yeah and do it so it's good to hear that you were ready for it this was this was my time yeah to this is my moment and if things go well the way they do and i'm still gonna keep continuing it someone was telling me that neil young was like that he didn't care you put something out and that was it he wanted to just put it out there didn't care how it sound that was him yeah so i mean i like that you know musicians that can kind of inspire other musicians and they can pass things like that from generation to generation and how we get inspired by all these artists that we like to listen to. Like I'm inspired by John Prine to Dallas Green, AKA City and Color. Even like the new music, like that's what it's all about. You have to have an open mind about it, so yeah. I think now too is a good time to take the reins of your own, Mm -hmm. what you're doing with your music. Yeah. People can put out anything. They can put out a shitty video, they can put out a great video, and it's not expensive. (laughs) now compared to what it used to be to be able to right accomplish that well i mean i do have a youtube channel i also have an older one and like you were saying like i posted a lot of videos and i go back i'm like that sounds really crappy but like you kind of learn from that like of your mistakes and you yeah. just like am i copying the artist where am i at that was back when trying to discover where i needed to be and now i know and i just kind of took it from there and i now I got like a fresh new at Corey Jealous and Music on YouTube. So only a couple videos there. It's the current wave one that I got recorded with Curtis Basque. And then there's just one little sneak peek of uh, Stranger Days. I mean, I'll definitely put up more eventually as we go further into getting this EP out. Yeah. It's good to be able to look back on things, I find. Yeah. Even with me, I listen to some of the older episodes and you can just, you can almost take notes on... Well, like questions that better or, or something. Can, yeah, you, yeah, you just you can assess yourself a little bit. So it's good to have that catalog of your older Re- repertoire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I've been down in Georgia. I've seen the streets in the west. I'm driven down the ninety. Hell, I've seen America's best. I've been through the Rockies Well, I've seen Saskatoon I'm driven down the highway, but Just hoping that I'll see you soon But I'm coming Never been to Alaska, but I can tell you this. I've been to Lake in Nebraska. Hell, you know it ain't worth shit. I've been through Nova Scotia, Sydney to Halifax, but I never take any pictures. But I know I'll just be right. Coming home Coming home Coming home I've seen a palace in London I've seen a castle in Wales but I'd rather wake up beside you And breathe that old familiar smell I never thought you could need me But I figured I was the one But I understand your sadness So I 
guess I should just hold my tongue But I'm coming home Coming home Coming home Coming home Coming home I know we're taking chances You told me life was a risk I just have one last question Will it be my own? Or will it be his? Coming home Coming home Coming home Coming home. Whoa, whoa. Coming home. What's at the top of your playlist right now? On top of my playlist is City in Color. He just put out a recent live album, basically all across Canada solo tour that he put out, and he actually had a song on the album Hello, I'm in Delaware, and it was recorded here in St. John, New Brunswick at the Imperial. Oh, is that the last time you played here? Oh, sweet. I yeah. was at that show. Yeah. Oh, very cool. So for me, that's all my top my playlist. I mean, amongst other things, I'll listen to Imagine Dragons. Really love the lead singer's voice. Like, mm. just gives you amped up. Noah Gunderson. Uh, he's actually one of the musicians that inspired me to name our son Noah. Oh, kind of, yeah. yeah. Well, that in the notebook. <laughs> uh, randomly, I pop a roach on there. Randomly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they uh, they got a new album coming out in January, too. There's a song called Who Do You Trust? Just think of old pop a roach and just, you know, with their freestyle, like, rock rap. Hmm. That's my playlist, I guess. <laughs> Were you at the Dallas Green Show that was here? Unfortunately, I had to give up my tickets oh, because really? I went to Jamaica. Oh, well. <laughs> 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 That's a bit so it was either like I gave up my Jamaica trip that I saved and paid for or yeah okay this is a little story this is why I like Dallas Green so much I've seen him a few years ago okay I'll start from the beginning back in the day when Alexis on fire was strong when they first came out with when they came out with the crisis album mm -hmm. they played at the Gothic Arches just here uptown and they had bands playing venues so they played I actually got to meet Dallas Green that night Oh, sweet. Yep. Right before the show, he said, I'm going to go on the bus. Just give me a few minutes. I'll come back out because I wanted him to sign sign something. I don't know if it was my hat or paper. He came back out and he remembered, got a picture with him. It's on my floating on my Facebook page somewhere and Instagram. I got a picture with him and I met him. I told him how much I appreciated his music. You know, you know what I mean? You get starstruck, right? Like you're just like, holy shit, <laughs> yeah. here's Dallas Green. He's like, no, thank you. I really appreciate it blah 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 and then later down the road uh, a few years back uh, he played in Moncton at the Coliseum a uh, guy in Sussex won a contest on uh, Sirius Radio they didn't really have a big enough venue in Sussex so the only closest spot would have been Moncton he played in Moncton with Chaos it was a free show as long as you went on the Sirius Radio site and you printed off these tickets you got in for free wow yep. crazy and it was when he came out with the album uh, Little Hell okay yeah it's nice because he inspires me too like because he went from being solo to just building up and having a few people play and then he ended up forming a band it's always cool when you get to get out there and meet uh somebody like that or just meet somebody that you're and take advantage into. of it yeah because yeah. if you don't i learned from that too and i'm like okay and then there was a time at granin's i was having supper and uh i think his name's james black from finger 11 was the guitars from finger 11 was just yeah. sitting there casually having food and i went up and i said hey what's going on <laughs> yeah that's um, nice. you know i won't interrupt you but i just want to say man you're awesome like i love you guys sweet yeah <laughs> take advantage of it like you know what i mean i'm sure they get a lot of it right yeah yeah well as i could tell uh, adrian there every time i go to see a band i try to get a record and yeah if or cd or whatever i get and if you can get somebody to sign it get yep. them to sign it i saw richard coin yeah. three weeks ago uh, 
phenomenal wow so, yeah it was were you there i wasn't at the recent one but i went to one before last year that he, he did he went to peppers okay yeah. but he's even it's amazing seeing these people and they get so creative mm. because they're creating themselves they want people to be in their moment they want to share that and, oh, that's, yeah. and with him like phenomenal oh Art absolutely he who literally sweat bullets to make sure he puts on a good show yeah yeah 10 minutes he had the hole in the palm of his hand yeah well, i got his signature on a on a record nice but every time i do it's just like if they're there if yeah. they're in front of me just just take the five minutes and if they don't want to be bothered they'll they'll let you know pretty quickly they don't want to be bothered but i find most people are cool oh, we yeah. met uh black label society we stayed at the same hotel with them when they oh, played when uh frick. halifax they were staying at the atlantica yep. and we got there and we saw that their bus was out off to the side so we we're outside and a couple of my friends were smoking and they're all walking off the bus going to the room and yeah and they just stopped and had a smoke they talked about hockey the whole time i'm not a big hockey fan but a lot of my friends are yeah and they were st- Stoked well, well, to be real, at the home of Sidney Crosby. They're people, right? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to mention at one point another band on my playlist, and I've actually met the lead singer and actually hung out with them, uh, was the Glory of Sons. Okay, sweet. I really like their style. Holy crap. They are phenomenal live at Area 506. I went this summer. I ended up getting backstage, and the lead singer and I were basically just talking like he was like one of my friends. Yeah. Like, And then he was talking about, I'm going to smoke a joint after and watch Family Feud. Like, I got to get through all this interview shit, and I want to go and hang out in my trailer. And, <laughs> and I met the two lead singers of July Talk. I've always wanted to meet them, and they're really cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's so. awesome. So did you... Uh, have a backstage pass or did you just get yourself backstage no i ended up getting a backstage pass. oh okay because yeah. <laughs> i've done that i've ended up backstage and not supposed to be sometimes but so you talked a bit about some of your recent inspiration like has the music you're listening to now that's inspired what you're currently doing varied from maybe when you started playing and writing music or do you find it's still kind of congruent that's the thing when you start out you're wondering what am I, what's going to be my sound i don't think any musician in their right mind will know that they say like i want to have a band like blink 182 or if i say that i want to be like dallas green there's no way in hell i can be like that guy because he's got an angelic voice but i find music is your own personal playlist throughout your life especially when you're growing up I've listened to old music before that my grandparents listened to, my dad listened to, like John Prine, storyteller. Like some of his stuff, some of his stuff is kind of corny. Dallas Green, same thing. I love his music. It's gotten me through a lot of emotional stuff. And I mean, it's amongst other things as well, too. And like, I find I know where I'm at now with my sound. I'm Corey Jellison. I've actually had people tell me that I got like a country voice. You got a deep tone and you could do country. Yeah, but I'm not gonna write. Like I like country music, don't get me wrong. I don't mind, it just depends on what it is. Like anybody can like anything and that shouldn't have to define who you are. And I mean, that's why I kind of said, I was saying earlier before, like I'm a folk indie singer. When you look at folk music, it actually has country tones in it Mm. too. And I think music has evolved a lot now then it's been defined back when because people now they don't say that if it's country or if it's rock they just say it's it is what it is fuck it i don't know i don't know if that really answers your question but like i guess from back when i was trying to discover what i was gonna sound like and now i'm actually at a point to i know where i'm comfortable with and this is where i'm gonna stay at yeah if that makes any sense oh absolutely yeah Yeah, yeah. well what you say about folk i mean folk is a super encompassing phrase mm-hmm. anyway yeah a lot of the music i like it's hard to define i know i feel like you gotta throw in a word in there and you're like yeah you're a folk you're indie you're uh bluegrass or you know yeah and we got so many different genres here in this city right there's so much all these musicians have to offer like look at jamie como and the crooked teeth those guys are blowing up big time And I've been to one of their live shows more than once, and they're killing it. Like, there's a bit of bluegrass, there's this or that. They mix everything all up. Oh, yeah. That's what they want to sound like. They seem like they're the type of guys that just don't give a shit. That's who they are. You want to rock out, 
You shouldn't have to define and tell anybody who you are in the genre aspect of things. You just basically like enjoy the show. Going on my adventure with my paddle and bow. Hold on to my heart till we get the shore. The sky is so calm and light, the ocean blue. My mind will always be here, my friend. Is this goodbye? I'm thinking of the curtain wave of people thought I was strange. I'm over these days and into the nights I finally found my way. From the blood and the rain There washed away All there was said to be gone Gone from all those Distant faces My dear friend I wish I Could have stayed So My friend I'm thinking of the curtain way But people thought I was strange I'm over these days and into the night I finally found my way place of nowhere I've always stopped and wondered where my mind will go home no one will know I'm thinking of the curtain way of people thought I was strange I'm more these days and into the nights I finally found my way I finally found my way. You're currently listening to the Peg and Place podcast. If you like what you hear, you can find us at anchor.fm forward slash the Peg and Place or stream each new episode wherever you get your podcasts. We are who we are. We, we're going to express ourselves. And whatever we listen to, whether it's country, rap, rock, whatever, whatever, all that's going to inspire us for what we want to get out there. If you want to become a musician, people will accept you and people will kind of get to know you a lot better who you are. They won't define you as like a country singer or a rock singer. Mm. They're just like, oh, do you hear Corey Jellison's playing here tonight? That's what music's all about. Sometimes music can be a political thing as well, too, when people want to try to book shows or trying to one-up other people. But for me, it's I enjoy this because I love the social aspect of it. I love meeting new people. And, I mean, I like meeting you as well because I wouldn't be here. If, you know what I mean? I think I find music kind of inspires me in that way to be more social to meet new people to have those connections because you're going to need those people down the road oh absolutely and i've traveled around new brunswick in different places and same goes when i play shows or if i'm on vacation talk to people make conversation have a friggin' drink have a shot be comfortable be yourself that's what i'm all about music has definitely been i've probably met more people because of music and through music than anything else i could think of at this point in my life 
Yeah. Whether it be from the podcast or playing open mic, playing to a mostly empty bar where somebody decides to buy you a beer because they feel bad for you. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've played at Taco Pica. That's where I've started out. I played the Ale House. I played Peppers. There's only so many selected places in St. John that you can play. That's why I look outside of St. John. Fredericton's never heard of me before. Maybe they, they're like, okay, let's bring somebody new, somebody fresh. And if there could be more opportunities for us as musicians in the city, it would be great. I mean, we do. I, like, we have open mics. Ryan Gotro from Radio Factory, he does Tuesday nights. I was just there recently, last week. Yeah. Randomly played some tunes. And that's what it's all about. It's all about the moment. Whether if you get paid or you're just going out there to have fun. That's a good attitude to have towards it. Yep. I think you'll enjoy what you're doing a lot more. Do you think you'll try to press a small tour or any tour after your EP drops? Would... See, being a musician and being all the places I've been in, when you have those connections, you talk with people. So those are opportunities you can take in your own hands to be like, okay, well, I c- could I definitely come back here again to play? Or even when I did the Hullabaloo festival and I met Colin Fowley from Fredericton and this inspired me he actually left his job to actually pursue doing the music thing and he traveled all the way from Fredericton all the way up to Ontario and come back somehow he did it and he promoted himself and he put out an EP as well too I guess to answer the question I mean it it is something for me to definitely look into it is going to take some time so when I do get the EP out then I got to look into getting the CDs all done uh pick a venue where I'd like to do the CD release. I would love to do it at Five and Dime. A lot of people have been going there. That'd be sweet. Yeah. Uh, maybe even have somebody play alongside with me to kind of fill up the fill up the time and space. Yeah. I always like paying it forward because I, I was paid forward when I first started out, and that was from Wayne Hansen. So if I can get a shout out to him, he was definitely inspiration for me to do what I'm doing now. So I like to thank him. You know, over the years, I've done the same thing, too, and invited people and done writer songwriting circles and stuff like that. But yeah, I would like to do something, maybe a small little tour, um, probably in New Brunswick. Yeah. For now. A lot of people have put EPs out this past year. Yeah. And uh, a lot of them do the same tour of New Brunswick, just sort of, you know, Moncton... Yeah, Fredericton, St. John, somewhere up north. I do have family, like northern New Brunswick, you mean? Yeah. I have family on my mom's side that actually is from North Shore. Oh, wow. So they said, if you're planning on coming up here, we'll find a place for you to play. Like There you go. (laughs) Take them up on it. Yeah. Um, But uh, it's a good way to get yourself out there, too, even if you're tagged on to somebody else's playing that night. It's just good to get out there. Hey, I just put in an EP. should buy it. I have so many set goals now. You know, like I've joined the gym and I'm feeling a lot better about that, like health wise and eating right. And, and the music thing, I have more of a strive, like I'm writing more and it's it won't stop. If you could say anything to somebody who might want to step into a similar position as you, mm-hmm. what sort of advice would you drop for them? I would tell them to obviously just to be themselves. It's going to take some time. You're going to figure it out. There's no right or wrong way of doing it as long as you love what you do, whether if you're a, just a vocalist, a piano player, anything. The best piece of advice is be creative and use your imagination because without imagination, you won't accomplish anything. Set goals. You have to have that. Otherwise, if you just sit down and do nothing, then there's nothing. Be yourself. Take your time. And be creative and use your imagination and your imagination will come true. And that's what I find that that's what's happened to me. Yeah. Yep. And like I said, that was the, I guess maybe another piece of advice even to say is what Wayne told me as well. Like you're going to have doors shut on you. They're not going to know who you are. Just put yourself out there. Like, don't be shy. Record something. Listen to it back. Put a video up on Facebook. Uh, the main thing is just make sure that you're having fun and you're doing it for the right reason. Mm-hmm. So that's all I can say. Is there anything that you want to throw out there? Uh, well, after this interview, I'm actually going back into the studio to record the third song on the album, Old Towns. So that EP, I'm hoping that I can rush this so it can get done at the end of this month. If not, then I'll update people on that, of course. like My EP is called Stranger Days. It's a bit of some of my stories that I want to tell to everybody. And uh, on the cover on the album is actually a picture of my dad. 
and in his younger years he was just out in the woods partying with a bunch of his friends don't even really know what's happening in the picture but there's a guy talking to my dad and he's just there with a drink in his hand <laughs> so i was just like okay well i might take this old photo and i'll just put stranger days because we don't know what's going to happen there's a lot of things funny things that can happen there's a lot of sad things that can happen um the ep i'm going to try to finish up by the end of this month i'll post if anything's delayed. If you are wanting to record, you can reach out to Curtis Basque. Uh, he's the gentleman that's been recording my album. It's a nice looking church house and that's where he has a studio. He's been doing it for over 25 years, so he's phenomenal, phenomenal gentleman. I enjoy what I do and i like to thank you for having me. Oh, thanks for coming on. And uh, hopefully I'll be back again to play some more. Yeah, definitely. Thank you very much. Thank you. already know where all the wild ones go when you're only miles apart from your heart being low if you knew where you're gonna be trying to follow the broken dream minutes till everything stops if only you could see It only hurts bad for a little while I couldn't tell that you were gone Getting lost through the stranger days As I sing this old song I walk the line through his eyes Johnny said he was gonna cry, cry, cry Driving by my neighborhood Where everyone said the goodbye Complications I fear Will soon be near Time will pass, days go by as I look back in the mirror It only hurts bad for a little while I couldn't tell that you were gone Getting lost to the stranger days As I sing this old song huh! I'm Jeff. I'm Andrew. And we're from 107.3 FM's Music We Like. You are listening to Pagan Place. Yeah. <laughs> 